back to we've already looked at what are the most scientifically effective ways to study we've already looked at how do you get yourself to study when you have zero motivation and today we're going to talk about how do you wake up early how do you wake up at the time that you set without hitting the snooze button again and again and how and why is it going to change your life why should you even bother on a scale from one to ten and i want you to write down your answer in the comments right now are you a ten are you a 10 out of 10 for doing this? And if you are anything but a 10, why not? Don't just listen, take action. So the first thing that I want to say here is go to bed at a set time early so that you have a better chance of waking up early in the morning. That 4 a.m. wake up, 5 a.m. wake up. It doesn't just start at 4 a.m. and it doesn't just depend on what kind of alarm clock you're using, what bed you're sleeping in. The most important thing is, did you get your eight hours of sleep? Are you going to bed at the same time every single day you're using, what bed you're sleeping in? The most important thing is, did you get your eight hours of sleep? Are you going to bed at the same time every single day? So you want to train yourself just like you would train a puppy to go to bed at the same time every single day so that your circadian rhythm, the rhythm that you are naturally in based on your environment, your psychology, you're going to bed at the same time. So your body knows it's eight o'clock, the sun has gone down and it's time for me to go to bed. Train yourself, create a habit so that you go to sleep every single day at the same time. Now, how can you do this and why should you do this? Well, as well, I've already said it's important for you to go to bed and get six to eight hours of sleep. Most of us need this. It's not a nice to have, it is a necessity. And the reason for this is there are studies out there that show even just half an hour or an hour every single day of not getting enough sleep, it has a cumulative effect. And so that compounding effect of all that sleep debt that you've accrued, you're gonna have to pay it off at some point. And those of us who are living and working and walking around with not enough sleep, it has the same effect as being intoxicated. So would you ever do your revision or your studying after taking a couple of shots of alcohol? No, you wouldn't because it's not going to help you focus. And the most underrated sleep hack, the most underrated productivity hack of them all is go to bed on